Undertale by Toby Fox. A new chapter begins, and we get some more cover art. The Sanses proceed to try to explain things to Papyrus, even though he can't fully comprehend it. Sans decides to let Gino and Papyrus have some privacy, while he goes to speak with Frisk and Kara. Chara doesn't like this, of course. Sans finally says that he wants to hear Chara's story. But Chara laughs at this idea, and once again, drops a bombshell. After all, remember what you did to the other fallen children? Sans hoping that Papyrus didn't hear that, because Sans would hate for Papyrus to learn more about his past that he has been hiding this whole time. Chara proceeds to yell out the following, and how the only thing that stopped you from doing the same thing to Frisk was a promise to some stranger through a damn door. And this catches the attention of Gino and Papyrus. Chara states that they came to the mountain not to explore, not a dare, but for their life to end, but ended up having a whole life surrounded by monsters in the underground. I thought monsters were better in every way to humans. I was even convinced that monsters deserved the surface, and the humans should just, just die off. I tried to make it happen, and I failed. I only regained any consciousness once Frisk came here. My soul had managed to exist beyond my death somehow. It was fun, you know, traveling with Frisk, making friends with everyone. But things had changed since I was alive. My parents separated, and a tutu here, a pair of glasses there, and the evidence of six dead humans at the request of my father. Chara says that monsters were supposed to be above killing like humans did, so they decided they wanted to make monsters suffer. Sans stops Chara from continuing. Sans states, he doesn't make the best decisions. He just wanted to give monsters, Papyrus, a better chance to be free on the surface. In the end, Sans begs for it all just to end. Frisk butts in, stopping Chara from arguing about this idea, that there is no good coming from all of this. Chara states that this all started from Frisk, and Frisk doesn't deny this fact. The ability to reset time is a horrible thing to have. Having so much power over others, I stopped caring about how they feel, even though I cared about them. The desire to play with lives, to experience new outcomes, were too much. Having such a power caused Frisk to stop caring about those that they truly cared about, hurting people like Gino into irreversible suffering. Frisk knows that they deserve punishment for their actions. Frisk wants to fix everything by resetting and getting everyone to the surface and never using the button again. Chara brings up the idea of killing everyone in the save screen. Frisk quickly ruins that idea with the fact that no one can die here. Same with healing. Frisk also tells Chara that they would have to fight two Sanses that can't die, no healing, and no resets. The odds were not in Chara's favor. Chara would have to no-hit and somehow kill two entities that can't die. We all know only Murg is capable of doing this. Frisk tells Chara their plan, and Chara accepts this plan. Chara stating, You're going to make it worse, you know. The monsters think the surface is paradise. They won't be accepted by humanity. You're going to build up their hopes, just to crush them with how horrible reality can be before collapsing. Sans attempts to interact with Chara's soul, but Sans learns and tells Frisk that Chara's soul had disappeared. Gino states that Chara finally accepted that they were dead resulting in them no longer possessing Frisk's body.